So we're sitting in Drina's lovely kitchen on the South Lambeth estate and it's International Women's Day. Now, Drina, you've been dealing with a lot of male uh, people sort of from the building industry, male managers from Lambeth Council, people from Homes for Lambeth. What's it been like for some of the women here on the estate in terms of you've been asking questions and how have you been responded to? I, 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 I actually think... Um, I've not been responded to well. People think they tell me that I'm aggressive and bullying um, for asking questions. I I find I know I was in a meeting once uh, where a Lambeth um, officer turned to someone, another woman, and did a kind of like this, speak to the hand to her and just ignored her, told me I my questioning was aggressive and told the other woman that she was stupid. Um, I've had uh, co constant um, uh, issues with... Lambeth officers just turn up. They don't make an appointment. They, they've done this for years. They just turn up on your doorstep. And sometimes I would open the door. I've got bare feet. I've got my pyjamas on. It's first thing in the morning. I think it's the postman. And suddenly I've got three or four Lambeth officers. I mean, men standing there. So I feel intimidated. And I tend to react if someone is aggressive with me. And I find it fairly aggressive if someone turns up on my doorstep when I'm not expecting them. Um, but if I say anything, and I don't, it's not swearing. It's just if I, someone came up and said um, they were starting the noise in 10 minutes. And this is when my daughter just started going into her mental health crisis. Uh, you know, she'd be lying there banging her head on the wall or punching herself in the face. Like really horrendous. And he's saying, oh, just to let you know, the noise is going to start in 10 minutes. What am I going to do in 10 minutes? What am I supposed to how I don't understand how I'm supposed to manage her with 10 minutes notice. I, I think a day's notice, a week's notice. So do you think there's a bit of a power dynamic here going on with the way that women, like I say, who, who I live here, who've been yeah. asking questions, I, yeah. have they, that they've been sort of... I don't think you're, in, I don't know. Is it, I think there is a bit of a thing that, um, I just think in general, um, uh, uh, there are, uh, men and builders trade i don't know are they are they do they get i don't understand i mean i know paul ingram i actually thought paul ingram was going to hit me one day we were having a meeting outside Wimbledon house and i was trying i said on my phone i said have a listen to that paul because that's when it was horrendous metal on metal banging 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 and odd was just going berserk and i said this was like eight o'clock in the morning and i said listen what do you think of that paul and he turned around and spun at me and i just thought he was going to hit me he just seemed really um, he's just very angry with me for being asking him questions, asking him why they couldn't give us time. Asking, you know, I think we've had reasonable um, um, requests and demands, but none of it because none of it falls. It someone someone said the other day because we haven't been grateful, and I think that might be it. I think when they first came all those years ago, eight years ago, I don't know. Um, I think their idea was that we were this horrible estate everybody was having this horrible lifestyle and everybody was desperate to move off and they they even said to us it must be horrible living here and it's not horrible we've actually got a nice little community we've had a nice community we've had um going back some years but the tra were involved in something that um was on at the hayward gallery showing what a good community it was on south lambeth estate so i don't understand why there's been this, there was a definite shift. Everything, one of the, uh, some we know, read through and analysed the minutes. And up until about a year before they started work, everything was quite reasonable. And then it just started getting really oppositional. And that's when nobody was turning up to the REP meetings and nobody, I can still show you, we've got hundreds of questions on a spreadsheet, hundreds of questions that are outstanding questions. And anytime you bring it up, even in my case with the Ombudsman, their response was that the questions were there online in a frequently asked questions format. But that's their questions. We've got our questions. They keep answering questions we haven't asked. So that doesn't exactly explain how they treat women, but it's a lot of women here have been treated very poorly and a lot of older women, I would say, too. OK, well, I, I'm surprised that you're not more grateful, but thank you for sharing that with me. <laughs>